I respect my opponent for his 30 years in public service, but frankly, I disagree. 2,000 votes for President Bush, four out of five times, for tax cuts that gave 53% of those tax cuts to the top 1% of American wage earners, the millionaires, where he voted to weaken the Clean Air Act, and where he voted for the largest increase in the history of America in education funding. The next 30 years are so unlike the last 30 years. There's a new idea, set of ideas and a new set of energy that has to be applied but more than anything else. Somehow we must restore in Washington, D.C., accountable leadership where you're in it for others, not for yourself. I'm proud today. I'm proud today to be standing here with Ned Lamont. I consider his race a model of courage, a model of standing for what you believe, and a model that attracted others to his candidacy. This is the only nation in the world that it, up until its time had been founded on principle, not power. It was a nation that's ever since that day has striven to achieve that perfect union, the embodiment of the vision that our forefathers had. It is actually a model, our nation, of the progressive movement. Think about it. Freedom, suffrage, civil rights, equality. Everywhere I went in this world in those three decades plus, I found that we were respected for the power of our military, respected for the power of our economy. We were admired for the power of our ideals. Yes. We must restore those ideals, starting with those issues of education security, health security, economic security, but more the world from Afghanistan and how we lead this world as one international coalition. But more than anything else, I promise you, not only to be the most hardworking, the most energetic, the most committed, the most honest senator you will ever have, I promise you two other things. I promise to lead on issues, to listen first to you, but to let you know where I stand on every issue so you understand what I am trying to do. And second, I promise you, more than any of all I've said, to help restore the credibility, the trust of you citizens in the public offices, those individuals who hold those public offices in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much for being here.